Okay, so we're talking about a seven segment display. Each little segment in here is a LED to light up. And we're going to have a common connection. If it's the negative that's common, then it's called a common cathode. Okay, common cathode. <coughs> Excuse me. If it's a positive that's common, it's called a common anode. Okay, so you need to write that down in your notes. You may have a common whoops, cathode or a common anode. You may not know which one it is, so you may have to search it out. Hopefully you have a number on the side. But if you don't have a number, or if the number is no good, because there are so many displays in the world and everybody does their own numbers, you may not know. What you do is you put a limit resistor on whichever one's the common. Let's say the negative is the common. We'll put a limit resistor on it, R1. We'll make it about 330 ohms. See, imagine that, huh? 330 ohms. So if we have a limit resistor of 330 ohms, now what we can do is just take a probe wire from the plus and just bring it over here and just plug it into the other pins and watch to see if they light up. If none of them light up, gee, it must not be a common cathode, must be a common anode. So then we'll just switch the resistor to the plus, switch the probe to the minus. And now we'll probe again, and if they start lighting up right away, we know we got a common anode. Okay, we're going to try and find common cathodes for you guys today, okay? They're a little easier to work with. We're going to work with a chip called the 7447 chip, and it's an SN. It is a TTL chip, 5 volts, and it is built to drive this seven segment display directly, okay? So what will happen is, if you put a binary word in, zero, 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 a four bit binary word into the chip, it will display zero, okay? And then you do zero, 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 one, and it'll display a one, and so on, up through zero, uh, through nine, okay? And then it will, it has some extra glue stuff that will transfer to the next chip and so on, okay? But this chip does it automatically. So it's kind of nice to just wire it all in and then give it a binary word and it'll give you the number in decimal on the display. That's really, really slick. So what we're going to do today is we're going to start by de identifying our displays. I'm going to give you a display, and then you're going to breadboard it up with a limit resistor, 5 volts. You're going to set your power supplies for 5 volts, okay? And that's where the Arduino works out really well, too. Uh, but we'll use these power supplies. And you're going, to, you're going to probe it as a common cathode first, and then as a common anode. If they light up, you know it's a common cathode. All you got to do is draw... And what I want you to do is, I want you to draw the chip such that you have the display here in your notes that looks like this. And then next to it, I want you to turn it over and I want you to show where the pins are because they're not a full set of pins on them. So you might have pins like this. And so you want to just flip it over like this so you can flip it back and forth and you can tell where the pins are. That way you can say, oh, this pin and this pin, common cathode goes to negative through my, my R1, and now all my other pins, and you can identify what those pins are. You can say, okay, this pin goes here. You can just draw a line over there, and you'll be able to identify them, okay? Also, she's going to give you a sheet that shows them A through E, or through G, believe it is. <coughs> um, I don't have that sheet, but I do have um, 
a picture. I'll pull it up off the web and it will show them on the chip because it shows the pin out of the chip A through G. Okay, so all right, and and we'll pull up a display also.